What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfakes.net, and we are checking out this phone right here, the LG MS500. Okay, uh, this phone bricked on me uh, about, probably about a month ago, and it was sent to me by my son, and well, basically I got to use it for about maybe uh, two weeks before it just stopped working altogether. It gave me a real bad error, and uh, which uh, I do not remember what the error was. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you what I did to make the phone work again. And so it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you just got to have a little patience. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so we are going to come over here. And these right here are the files that are needed. The description will be in the... <laughs> try that again the links will be in the description to download all of these files so the first thing that we want to do is that we want to install this driver right here so this uh, i've already got everything installed but i'm just going to redo it again so just click on this driver and you want to choose yes to install it make sure that your phone is not connected okay so we've got our driver installed for our lg mobile driver uh, device. So what this is, is that this is the driver that will connect your cell phone to your computer. Okay, now this folder right here, just simply right click on it and choose extract here or extract to here. I've already got it extracted. We're going to click on it and also if you don't have a WinZip program installed, okay, just right click on it and choose extract all, uh, which will be an option here, which is not given because I've got WinWare installed. And then you just open up the folder. And then the first thing you want to do is that you want to install this msxml file. So let's double click on it. Choose next. And we've already got it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. But just go ahead and follow the prompts and uh, install it. Click on finish. And then after all that's done, you want to launch this program right here. So we just simply launch this. Choose yes, and then it's going to load the program. So let's go ahead and close this window out so that we just have this window to contend with. Now, with our phone right here, uh, what we want to do is that we want to remove the back of it. So from right here, just where you plug it in at, just pull that. That means to hit the phone there. Oops. And yeah, you want to remove the battery. Okay, and uh, for me, I had to wait for about 30 seconds before I put the battery back in in order for this to work. Uh, uh, I watched one video where a guy actually did it, uh, where he just took the battery out, put the battery back in, and it worked for him without an issue. However, that was not my case. Okay, we've had about 30 seconds, I reckon. So let's go ahead and put this back in and put the back of it back on. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we are going to hold the power button and the top volume button at the same time. So let's bring this back just a little bit here. And then once we do that, we're going to plug it in. So make sure you got everything going the right way. So let's turn this around so that the small end is on top. Hold the power button and the volume button at the same time and plug this in. And then you should get this right here, uh, which bring it up so that you can see it. So as soon as you see that, right over here, we're going to choose this and we're going to choose emergency. And then we're going to choose uh, the, uh, the file. So we're going to click here and inside of our folder, right here is a 743 megabyte file and that is what we want to choose which is the kdz file click on that click on launch software update and so it's launching it and it's doing some stuff over here so it created this cab file right here so we're just going to set this phone down and just leave it alone and what we're waiting on here is that we're waiting on all of this to do all of its work. And I'm going to let this run and we will get back with you as soon as it's done.
and as you can see the phone is now coming back on and there you go now you can just slide this and get your phone back working uh, pretty simple to do uh, really easy I am Wayne Barron this is targetfix.net and I hope this helped y'all out a bit y'all have a good one now bye bye